I'm Bettina Chadbourne and I'm running for an at-large city council seat. Okay, so currently I am the Ward 2 city councilor. Uh, the wards, uh, boundary lines to the wards were changed and so now if I want to run again, I would either need to run in Ward 3 against an incumbent or at large and I've decided to run at large. Um, I've really enjoyed the past four years on council and I want to continue my work. I um, have worked hard to establish good relationships with my constituents, city staff, and other counselors. It's really important for me to listen to constituents and address their concerns. If they call me or they email me, I always get back to them in a timely manner. If they need answers, I find them for them and I return their calls. Sometimes I um, uh, refer them to staff and then I still follow up to make sure that they've got what they needed. There's a lot of issues facing the city, and I think my four years of experience can help move, move us forward. And we're in a transitional period to, right now as we continue the process of recruiting a new city manager. And while the city has a great staff, it's challenging to navigate without a city manager at the helm. Having current councilors remain on the council will provide the staff with consistency needed during the transition, and it'll be a great asset for the new city manager. One of my jobs as a counselor is to run the city as efficiently and as effectively as possible. And what if we were to consider using zero-based budgeting? Zero-based budgeting is often used by businesses, and the premise is to work from the ground up when building the budget. Um, the three highest cost centers are police, fire, and public works, and they're all essential services. What if each department head were to look at what they need in order to run their department the most effective way? This process allows department heads to ju justify what they need, and it provides a systematic process. Um, as a counselor, I would be in a better position to say the taxes are appropriate. Um, I'm suggesting that we review our current process, our current budgeting process, and uh, we've often relied on the Boston Consumer Price Index, and that shows our growth is less than some other cities, but it doesn't recognize people on fixed incomes. Another issue is economic vitality. There's little land available within the city limits um, for new businesses to relocate here. So I think we need to approach it on a cooperative basis. As a city, we already have established relationships with state senators, the state delegation, the, the various um, colleges in the area and surrounding towns like Swansea. And we need to come together to formulate a regional approach, a regional plan. We need to engage the Chamber of Commerce to help recruit new businesses. And I think even engaging Senator Shaheen and Senator Ayotte along with New Hampshire Economic Resources and Development can help foster new growth. As a, as a city, we have viable resources available. We have information technology department that's working with New Hampshire Fast Roads to help increase broadband coverage. We have an airport that allows all types of aircraft, including large commercial jets. This is especially valuable in uh, retaining companies like CNS Wholesale. It allows them to maintain their headquarters here. And we need to ensure that the airport's viable while balancing the, the concerns of surrounding neighborhoods. We're redeveloping the Marlboro Street corridor and we're expanding the use of existing parks and adding services that offer today's youth more recreational options. And we continue to work on green initiatives to address global warming. Uh, um, Re-elect me so I can work for you. Together, we can make it a better community. Keene's already a great place to live. Let's make it the best. Thanks.